Hi there. Now I've been working on some vintage models lately and a covering technique that I really like is where we cover the plane in laminating film and then put tissue on the top and I've been using a polyurethane to stick the tissue down and it gives a really nice vintage traditional look but added strength because you've got that laminating film underneath. Now I'm a I've just covered a wing in laminating film because I want to use it, it's an old scrap wing and I want to use it as a bit of a test bed to try different colours of tissue, uh, ageing techniques just to make it look a little bit older and just to see how the different colours go on top of each other. As I said it's a, it's a technique I really, uh, I really like and I think produces some really good results. And I thought I would do this video and show you how I put this laminating film, which is the base coat before the tissue goes on, how I would put this onto the balsa structure. And this has got quite a, uh, a nice rounded wing tip and I'll show you how we can stretch the film all the way round right onto the underside here and produce some really nice results. Now, the laminating film that I'm going to use is really, really cheap. This comes in 150 metre long rolls, so re a really big roll. And I paid uh, less than £19 sterling for this, so it is really, really cheap. It's, this particular roll is 38 microns thick, so it's really nice thin material. You can get it thicker if you want, if you want bigger materials it, it will be slightly heavier but on a bigger model I'm sure that would be fine. But this is actually quite strong and I think with tissue on it it's fine for 60, 60 inch wingspan models if not bigger. Now I think this is uh, 320 mil wide this rolled but you can get it in much wider rolls so it's available in you know thick, different thicknesses and different sizes uh, different length, uh, widths, widths that's the word so you know it, it is quite a versatile cheap product the tools that I'm going to be using is just a scalpel, nice sharp scalpel to cut the film I've got my uh, Prolux digital iron, covering iron and I've also got a heat gun. Now I'm very reluctant a lot of the time to use a heat gun when I'm using conventional heat shrink film. A film. But with Doculan you really can give it quite a lot of heat. It is very resilient to heat. So first thing we'll do is we'll get a piece of uh, the Doculan cut to size and laid out on top of the wing. There we go, and it's quite nice when you've got such a cheap product. I mean, there's no point in wasting it, but it's quite nice when you've got such a cheap product that you're not trying to conserve every little bit of it as you would do with some of the more expensive films. So, there we go. We've cut a piece big enough now to cover this wing. Right, I've now got this set up on a towel and the reason I've got it in a towel on a towel is not to protect the wing but just to stop it from sliding around it just gives it a little bit more um, stability as we're working on it we've got plenty of overlap on the film so we can pull it around this wing tip when when the time comes and you can see the covering film is opaque and when we heat it up and shrink it it will go clear now this is the shiny side and we have a matte side on the underneath and that matte is the glue. We don't need to do anything to the balsa, we just need to make sure that it's clean, dry, dust free and the film with its own glue will stick as we get it hot just as you would with a normal, uh, normal covering film. Now as we're, we're going to stick this film down and we're going to go around the edges first 
and we want to try and get it as nice and tight as possible with as few wrinkles. The same as you do with a normal covering film. But one thing we need to be aware of is that we don't, it, it shrinks quite readily, but we don't want to use the foot of the iron like this to go along that edge because it will be heating up these sections of the wing that we want to shrink at a later uh, a later stage and if we're like that the heat is transferring to that it's shrinking that and we're actually losing shrink power uh, if it's only if it's, you've got hundred percent of shrink power and you lose 20 percent of it by just heating that up and shrinking it a little bit as you're sticking it down it's kind of a waste I hope, I hope that I've sort of explained that well but we want to work from the outside edges so this is a 112 degrees C now. So what I would suggest is that we uh, just tack it like that in a corner, but with the bulk of the iron away from the actual thing that we're covering. So we've got that stuck there. We will then come round and let me just make sure this is wrinkle free. And then I'll just come here and I will stick this as well. You can see it's just starting to go a little bit clear there just as it's getting the heat from the iron. Last thing we want to do is get any of this clear. So we've got that stuck down there. There we go. And now we will come along this edge and again we will I think I'll do it in the middle making sure that's nice and tight and I will just stick it there but I'll just lift this up and I would suggest you work away from the center of the wing and rolling it I find that Doculam is quite thin and quite, quite mobile when you use the iron on it and if you go along like this you will create wrinkles. It will push the, um, the film in front of the iron like a, a little bit of a wave and you'll end up with a wrinkle at the at sort of you know a couple of inches down the line. So we've done that center piece now we will just come to the end and do this make sure that is stuck down and then finally at the tip I mean pull this nice and tight but not not overly tight that you introduce wrinkles in other places okay we've now got that document actually let me I keep calling it Doculam, actually that's a, it's a, this is a generic laminating film, Doculam is a, a trade name I believe. So we just want to go along this now, and as I say, we want to be just pulling that out like this. As I said, if we um, slide the iron along, and I'll show you, you just end up you end up with wrinkles, which does that show? Yeah, you can see those wrinkles there, which are a real pain. And so if you do get wrinkles like that, if you pull the film and then work the iron towards you, you can pull them out as you sort of remove and reposition the, uh, the film. But we'll be able to get that out. I mean, that has got those out a little bit, but we'll get those out when we come to, uh, to shrinking it. So we'll just go along pulling the, the iron out of, the, uh, out of the, dire the direction out of the wing. I mean, it's far easier to do this when you're not trying to orientate it so, so the camera can see it. But anyway. Now we need to make sure that the 
edges of this are really well tacked down before we start doing any uh, any of the shrinking because the last thing we want to do is start shrinking panels and actually all you're doing is pulling it off the uh, the edges of the uh, of the structure that you're covering now I'm going to go along here and just stick this down on this edge here I'll just do this quickly I'd probably take a little bit more time and care if I was doing this on a proper model but I just want to do it nice and quick to uh, to show you how uh, how Doculam can behave if you hadn't stuck this wing tip down let me just do that here. Just going to increase the heat a little bit to about 115 and now we've got a little bit of a wrinkle here we need to to just pull down but we'll just cut that there. There we go. just go around the edges and just make sure this is all stuck down and uh, and then trim it ready for uh, ready to do that that wing tip now if we do get wrinkles in this I'm getting a little few little wrinkles here and you iron them on a nice hot iron and I'm talking about you know 180 something like that the wrinkles if they don't shrink and disappear actually just kind of go really thin and hardly noticeable particularly you know if you're covering with tissue which can be quite uh, forgiving I guess is the best way to to put it right now we've got that it's just Trim this off. Sharp scalpels are a must for any kind of covering and don't be afraid of changing the blade, blade uh, re <laughs> regularly or more than regularly all the time. Now I'm just going to go around the, uh, the wing tip and just make sure this is well down. Again moving the iron away from the area that we're covering and want to shrink. I mean once it's stuck down it's not so bad to move along as long as you're not putting a lot of pressure on but initially you just want movements like this. Right, any second now we're going to get to the wing tip. Let's just trim this. And then we haven't got lots of uh, film flapping around in our way. Okay, now <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to stretch the film right around this wing tip including the front of the wing tip and we're going to take it all the way around to here on the other side which I think for any covering film is a pretty big ask. So We'll see how we get on and I think I will just move the camera around so that we can see this wingtip better and how we're going to do that. Now to my mind there are th three things to getting this done well and doing a good job and one is to be comfortable and to get the wing supported and in a position that it's not moving and you feel comfortable working on the, uh, on the film. The second is to get enough heat that we soften the film and it will stretch and the temperature is climbing on this now and I've set this at 200 degrees C and uh, I'll wait till it gets up to that before I start. And the other thing 
is pressure to be able to pull the um, the film so to be able to get your fingers underneath and grip it and to keep that pressure on at all that stretch on as you're putting the heat on and allowing the film to stretch and we need to once we've done that we've uh, stretched it and stuck it we need to hold that pressure so that it sticks and doesn't come back as it cools down we need to make sure it cools down and sticks properly before we let go so it doesn't move back well we're on a well we're on 190 degrees now aren't we so let's get on with this now I'm going to start in the middle and I'm just going to start on this edge here and I'm pulling that nice and tight and I'm going to work that down to the centre line is that in the camera? yep and again on the corner and I'll work that down to the centre line now I've heard people say you can't stretch Doculam well I've said that as well in the past but if you give it the right conditions it will stretch absolutely lovely and this will stretch as good as any you know good quality um, laminating film in my mind you can really get this round a wingtip like this there's a lot of uh, a lot of normal sort of heat shrink covering films that you couldn't do this kind of work with like this now so we've got that stretched there's no wrinkles at all there right round to that center line there's a little bit of a wrinkle there but we'll soon we will soon get rid of that right now let's just stretch that Now I'd like to do this in its entirety so you can see the whole process um, without sort of editing it and you can see how long it takes but you can see from this it's it's quite a quick process I mean we're still we're soon running out of uh, uh, the ability to get to get round there so I'm gonna have to turn this over in a minute and, and reposition the uh, reposition the camera Now, this is the, the hardest bit and you see I started in the middle of a loose piece there not at the edge so there's a little bit of a gathering there and a bit of a, a gathering just here which we will uh, try and stretch out in just a second there we go we'll do this bit first and I'm putting quite a lot of pressure on that obviously you have to be careful because the last thing you want to do is, uh, <laughs> is break your newly finished wing. So, let's put my body on this as well. To... Oh, I've just broken the film, I've pulled it too hard. So, but we'll carry on with this. And what I will do is I will turn this over now and actually I'll just turn the camera around you can see I've just um, I've just split that but we can still make a good job of this we've still come around quite a long way without any wrinkles well just looking at where it gave way I think when I trimmed that front edge I should have left it a little bit longer or not cut as close to the the wingtip as I did because I think I've just left it a little bit ragged or a little bit of a slit and it's just caused it to split down that side and, and give way because normally this film wouldn't give way with the pressure that I was putting it under so anyway there's a good learning curve there so let's get on with this now I mean in reality you probably wouldn't bring the film all the way around you would probably join it along the uh, the center line I, I, I certainly would but I'm just doing it like this just to show you the the possibilities if you like are so I am pushing this uh, to to its extreme and uh, as you saw as a consequence I just uh, ripped it a little bit but I would probably take a a little bit more time if I was doing this like I say I said before you know on a model that I had just uh, just finished there. 
almost done this uh, this back bit now. See now that is, I think that yeah that's wrinkle free all the way around there now. Just hold that make sure it doesn't move. Want to have extreme challenges and see if you can cover both sides of the wing with a single piece of doculam. <laughs> I'm sure you could, there's no reason now why we couldn't carry on. Um, a little bit extreme, I must admit, but... Right, now, let's see if we can do this without uh, ripping it further. I mean, this it has ripped, but it is extremely uh, strong, resilient uh, material, this. Finishing this last bit. Right, we've got a few wrinkles just just there. But, and we will pull this. Now we have got some wrinkles here where I'm, I'm actually just ironing the wrinkles in. Um, if that hadn't have split, we would have got that wrinkle free. Uh, I've done it before uh, when I've been using this as a, as a test rig. But we'll stop there and you can see the possibilities anyway from what I've, I've done so far. We've got the top lovely and smooth. Actually, there's a couple of little wrinkles just here, uh, just because I haven't... Uh, and smooth that down properly. There we go. You can see that's lovely and smooth covering around there and it's gone all the way around and we've got the covering on this and this is all wrinkle free and we've got some wrinkles here just because I couldn't finish because I, I, I actually pulled it too hard. But it's, it's wrinkle free right round to that point there which to be honest is as far as you'd you'd want to go if you were doing this as a, a proper uh, covering job anyway. So let's just trim this now. And we will get on to doing the, uh, the main uh, shrinking now of this wing. Right, now there are two ways that we can shrink this. We can either shrink it with our iron, and I would suggest using a, a slightly less, uh, less heat, uh, slightly less heat, um, around about 160, something like that, because if we keep it at 200, which we used for, for shrinking the wingtip, then it does tend to go a little bit tacky, and, and it doesn't kind of, the iron doesn't slide quite as well as it could do. But this is on what, 160 now, and I've got it set at, if I bring it down to 155. Now we can, in the conventional way, just go over this with the iron, and that will shrink lovely. And we can see it's going transparent now, and, and actually doing a really nice job. Where it doesn't do such a nice job is where we've got uh, sheeting like this because as you need to move the iron it tends to introduce wrinkles if you're not careful. You have to be very gentle, it's, it's introduced some wrinkles here because moving the iron does move the film. It does kind of flow as I said before, you know, like pushing, a, pushing water down a you know, down a tank, you know, creates a bit of a ripple in front of it. So, but you can use heat and get those out. And I've just, just done that now. And that's, that's, let's just finish this off. 
Yeah, and that's that's done a, a really nice job on that. And you can see that has shrunk lovely. But perhaps where you've got bigger areas, you can use a hot air gun. And you can you still have to be careful you don't blow a hole in it, but you can use a lot more heat than you would do with um, a uh, a typical covering film. So we'll just do this with a hot air gun now and keep it moving and um, it should shrink fine. Like I say, need to be careful not to blow a hole in it, but it will take a lot more heat. One of the things about Doculan, which I don't think I've said so far, is that it will shrink as you heat it, but also, and I saw it just as I stopped then, it will also shrink as the film cools down, it will contract as it, as it cools. So if you've got a wrinkle you can't get out, and it's only a little bit of a wrinkle, then don't worry, take the heat off and see if it goes as it cools. There. Now, if you look at what happened just, that was a, a, exactly the case. And we've got a bit of a wrinkle here and here, and we'll put a bit of heat on. And well, it's difficult to set it up to be honest, but it, it trust me, it, it does happen. I absolutely love Doculam and it's such a nice product to use. You can see what a, a nice finish hopefully we've got on that. And I did do this really quick because I wanted to show you the possibilities and give you a few tips and techniques that I use to getting this on and getting it looking nice. And being able to stretch it around the, the wingtips is uh, just seals it for me and just really makes it that great product and the thing about Doculam which is over other covering films is that it's actually really cheap so you can practice on a scrap wing like this and just see how it goes and if you don't like it you can take it off and start again and as I'm doing, you can use it as a test bed and now I'm going to start putting on some tissue on this and just see how it's going to look for the model that I'm, uh, I'm working on at the moment and about to finish. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this, I hope you found it useful and um, I hope it made you think about getting some Doculam and having a go at doing perhaps a, a traditional finish of tissue but over something a little bit stronger. And this Doculam under tissue will really add hugely to the strength of any tissue model. So anyway, thanks very much for watching.